all we're going to do is add a component and add it to a view. To do this, go into configuration, click add, and we're going to choose the DMX2 component. So we're going to select DMX2 from the list and select add. Once you've done that, the component has been added to the hypnotizer, which means we can now access and use it. To add it to a view, click on an empty slot, right click, and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this one DMX. Then, to add it to the pinboard, click the HippoNet Overview button, select DMX2, and drag it out. Once it is there, we can use the lock button down here to make it bigger or smaller. By default, Hypotizer will automatically patch what is currently patched in the Output Manager into the DMX component. If you would like to change this, there are a couple of ways you could do this. The easiest way is to use the Auto Patch feature. To do that, click Auto Patch and select the protocol you wish to use. Here we have a choice, ArtNet, MANet or SACM. We're going to choose ArtNet from the list. We then need to choose what our start address is. The combined start address will simply do the maths for you and it means you don't need to manually work it out. So for instance, if we wanted to do universe 20, it will automatically work out as subnet 1, universe 4. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it on zero. We then have a choice. Do we want to patch the layers, patch the mixes, patch the viewports, or patch the timeline? We could patch all of these by turning each individual one on. I'm going to just patch the layers. We then have a drop down list of the personality. The personality is kind of like the mode of a moving light. So we can choose which personality we wish to use. When I patched my desk earlier, I patched the 4.4 layer personality. So I'm going to choose this from the list. If we then click OK, we'll get the warning message that's going to delete everything. This is what we would like to do. So now you can see here, Universe A, Mix 1, 2 and 3. Universe B has got Mix 4 on. To check if we've got data coming in, simply click on the Monitor tab. So we have Patch here. And monitor here. And if on the monitor tab you see all red zeros like this, you know that there is a problem with the network connection and that no data is getting into the system. Going back to the patch window, if we click on either of these universes, on the right hand side here we'll get the universe properties. We can give it a name, change the protocol, or change the universe that we're currently being sent out of. If we click on a fixture, we have the same properties, but for the fixture. So again, we can give it a name, change its start channel, or change its personality. If you want to add or remove a fixture from the list, so for instance, if we wanted to remove fixture one, we can right click and delete it. This means this fixture will no longer be controlled by DMX. If we want to add a new fixture, simply come to the add fixture button up here. We'll then choose our fixture from the list. So we want to choose Engine, Mix 1 and Layer 1, as this is the one I've just unpatched. We can then choose which personality we wish to use and click OK. Now, by default, it has patched it at the end, which means that is now overlapping. However, we did leave a gap for it at the beginning, so I can change its start channel using the fixture properties to Channel 1.